All right, everybody. Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters. You guys are going ham on that like button, which I super, super appreciate. I had to go out and mow my lawn and take the trash out before I was, before my beautiful wife would allow me to film more. But I told you guys at 400 or 350 likes on the last video, I would do box three. I'm gonna throw out a ridiculous total like, I don't know, let's go 400 likes on box three to unlock box four. It's the last box I have sitting here, so I gotta make it kinda hard. I wanted, I wanted to do like 500, but I think 400's fair. Um, part of me wants to do these boxes all this weekend. Part of me wants to at least save one of them. But you guys make the call. Ugh. This I happened to pick up at a local hobby town. They were charging $1.99, which is too much, I think, to pay for a box. Well, it's, it's like just at the point. However, they take uh, coupons, and you can use three $5 coupons, so I got it for $1.85. So that's okay. $1.85 is fair. Here we go. Box three of Modern Masters. If you missed box one or two, go back and check it out. I'll put them all together in a playlist here in just a hot minute. However, I'm going to just be going through the uncommons and the rares so that we don't have a 30 minute video. I tried the longer format, but uh, as I suspected, people just wanted to see the uh, chase card. So let's zoom in a little bit and cracketh some packets. Pack one, I'm gonna try to kind of go through it because you know, we'll look at the foil. Our f foil is we have an illusion token. Our foil is a Azorb Vis, common. And our rare, Progenitus. Hey, that's a good way to start, right? Hell yeah. Five color, 1010 10, protects from everything. If Progenitus will be put into a graveyard from any way, reveal Progenitus and shuffle it into the owner's library instead. Awesome, I really wanted that card. Our uncommons is a Pithis Worm Harvest. And tribal flames. Wow, I wanted a progenitus. Let's hope it's all uphill from here. What are chase cards that we're looking for? Well, I don't have any dark confidence. I don't have any tarmogoyfs. Either one would be awesome. We have elemental token, and we have a blink moth nexus foil. Awesome, rare land. Very strong foil. Our rare Arcbound Ravager, a zero, zero for two. Sacrifice an artifact, put a one, one counter. Also has modular. Our uncommons are Electrolyze, Esprizol, and Flicker Wisp. Oh boy. Pretty excited about our first two packs. Rare, a Progenitus, so I think is a Mythic, right? Yeah, a Mythic. And then a Foil, Ink Blink Moth Nexus. Uh, the distribution, I think you should maybe get, what, three Mythics in the box? If they're all of the Progenitus level, I will be extremely happy. We have a no token. A rare is a, or a foil is a Rift Elemental. And our rare is a Gifts Ungiven. Search your library for up to four cards with different names and reveal them. Target opponent chooses two of those cards. Put the chosen cards into your graveyard, the rest into your hand. And our uncommons, take possession, Meadow Boon, and Tar Pitcher. I don't know what's happening here. I'm trying to sort these piles nice and fancy. Um, okay, so we're off to a great start. How many of you guys drafted this weekend? Uh, if you're just watching this video today, Sunday, I've already opened up two boxes for you guys. I will go to four which is the, all the boxes I currently have. All right, so we have a Kithkin Soldier token. Our foil is a Thundercloud Shaman. And our rare, Rude Awakening. Five drop, choose one, untap all lands you control until end of turn, lands you control become two, two creatures and still land, that are still lands, yikes. Our uncommons are Massive Myers, Auntie Snitch, and Epoxorite. 
All right. I really wanted to draft, on, but all the great drafting happened on Friday, and that was my anniversary, so I couldn't, which is fine. I mean, I didn't want to. All right, what do we have? A Saproling token. Our uh, foil is an Amaru Scout. <laughs> Excuse me, and our rare, a Lotus Bloom. Not a bad card. Sacrifice Lotus Bloom, add three of any color. And our uncommon is a Trigon Predator. Rift Sweeper and a Vivid Craig. But anyway, um, didn't get to draft it. And then I called, actually, I posted on my local GameStop's Facebook page, or, uh, not GameStop, Game Universe. They said they had two boxes left. But since my first two boxes were not, uh, how do you say, home runs, I decided, you know, spending the money I did was enough. I think there'll be a second shipment anyway. We have a bat token. And I hope to pay MSRP for most of those. Our foil is a face falter. Simply love that art. And our rare is a Melic of the Clouded Mirror. We've got several of these, a 2-4 flyer with some pretty nifty abilities. And our uncommons are Desperate Ritual, Croson Grip, Riftwing Clouds. Pile, pile, pile. I kind of wish I would have pile sorted my first two boxes because now I have to go all the way back through them. I also opened up the uh, sl the DGM event deck this weekend so I can upload that next week too for you guys. Our foil is a, lo oh, a foil lotus bloom. Me likey breadsticks. And our rare is a figure of destiny. The crazy one drop that has a multitude of neat abilities. Our uncommons are Desperate Ritual, Cloud Goat Ranger, and Death Rattle. Wow. Foil Lotus Bloom and a Foil Blink Moth Nexus. Pretty neato value. And a Progenitus so far. Still no Dark Confidence, as uh, I may call it Bob. A lot of you have been asking. Kithkin Soldier Token. Our foil is a Mog War Marshal. The foils look awesome. And a rare Angel's Grace. One drop, split second. You can't lose the game this turn. Takes you back to one life. Paradise Mantle, Spore Swore Thalid, and Harobi's Whisper are the uncommons. So I, I, uh, I've i been kind of trolling the net watching. I've been watching a lot of Modern Masters openings too. Haven't seen any of those like crazy six, $700 packs. <laughs> But uh, seen some great pulls, and I hope you guys are enjoying mine. We've got a, our foil is a, ooh, a foil kitchen finks. Wow. That's awesome. That's probably a $30 card. And a rare, 30 or maybe more, is a Knight of the Reliquary, Selesnia card. It gets plus one, plus one for each land in your graveyard, and you can sacrifice a forest or plains, search a library for a land card, put it on the battlefield. Oh, that's that's sick. That's got to be playable, right? We've got a Grinningus, Plumevil, and Marsh Flitter. Wow, foil kitchen finks. Of all the uncommons to get in foil, that's the one. I think. There might be more, but that's the one, baby. All right. Worm Token, Foil Auntie's Snitch, and the rare is a Slaughter Pact. Zero drop, destroy target, non-black creature at the beginning of your next turn, pay three if you don't lose the game. Those zero drops are just sick because you can totally surprise your opponent. Etched Oracle, Gritting Ingus, Necromoeba. Granted, if you're playing like draft format, you can only really quote unquote surprise them once. Then they're going to be fearing it every game after that is pretty hilarious all right we've got a tree folk shaman token our foil veteran armorer a rare shellus of the void xx and it uh enters with x tokens on it i believe that means you pay two to get one um, whenever a player casts a spell with converted mana cost equal to x you can counter it pretty sick and we have a well, that's a pretty cool looking card. 
Tide, Hollow Sculler, Marsh Flitter, and Paradic Dragon as our uncommons. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you guys are really enjoying these Modern Masters openings. I think I'm, you know, of the quote-unquote big guys, I definitely feel like I'm opening a ton of this stuff, and I hope that if you're new, you just take a moment to hit that subscribe and also the thumbs up button below the video. I really hope you enjoy it. I work hard on these for you guys. Sapling Token, our Foil, Nantuko Shaman, and our Rare, Skeletal Vampire, 3-3 three, three Flyer, um, that you can put some black rat creature tokens on the battlefield. We got a Darkmoor Salvage, Feud Killer's, Killer's Verdict, and a Thirst for Knowledge. Pretty sick. I definitely appreciate uh, you guys letting me know that you prefer the shorter format because I certainly prefer, sh prefer shooting the shorter format. I've got a lot of packs to open for you guys. Got to get caught up. All right, we've got, whoops, wrong way. We've got a goblin token. I know the uh, rogue deck builder has earmarked all my rogue tokens. We have a foil traumatic visions and a rare life from loam, a two drop return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand along with dredge. And our uncommons are trigon predator, spore source thalid, and mad auntie. I know everyone loves to like correct my pronunciation on videos, but let me just save you the trouble and like tell you that, you know, I, I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be a douche, but it does bother me a little bit when people are like, eh, hey, you saying it wrong. Like if I generally, genuinely ask uh, how to say something, that's one thing, but I just think it's funny. All right, so we have a Goblin Rogue. Oop, that's going to Rogue Deck Builder. And we have a Sudden Shock foil. And our rare is a Blood Moon. All non-basic non lands are mountains. Mountains. We've got a Vivid Meadow, Trump the Domains, and another Kitchen Finks. Boy. All right. Well, we're seeing some good value in this box. Nothing that, uh, nothing to, like, just make us, like, make me have to take a minute and run around the house and calm down, but some great pack value. We've got a Goblin Token. A foil hillcomber giant and our rare summoners packed zero drop we saw that earlier so I won't go through that incremental growth another kitchen finks and a vivid grove we got three kitchen finkses in this box that's exciting would I prefer three dark confidants yes but I'm not gonna tempt fate like that why would I tempt fate like that all right, we've got a Search for Tomorrow foil and a Worm token. I love these worm arts. And a rare Aether Sworn Canist. Canonist. Two drop, two two. Each player who casts a non artifact spell can't cast additional non artifact spells. Our common is a Mire Retriever, Pythus, Phythus, or whatever, Vivid and Vivid Marsh. Are these Vivid Lands worth any money? I'm guessing maybe, maybe not. They seem, they don't seem like that common as an uncommon. You know how some uncommons are really common and some rares seem to be a lot more <laughs> common than other rares. All right, we've got a Kit Kithkin Soldier token, a Siphon Life foil, and a rare uh, Vidalkin Shadows, a mythic, our second mythic of the box. Uh, this is a not a bad card, a mythic. You may choose not to untap shackles during your untap step. Pay two, gain control of your target of target creature with power less than or equal to the number of islands you control for as long as Vidalkin shackles shackles remains tapped. That is a good card. And I don't need to tell you that. Mole Drifter, Cloud Goat Ranger, and Rift Sweeper. Whoops. I put my uncommons in the foil pile. What was I thinking? I did it multiple times. All right. I know you guys had asked for some recaps. So I think at the end of the video, I'll recap the foils and the rares. Well, and mythic rares, obviously. All right. Fairy rogue token and a 
foil fairy mechanist. And our rare doubling season. Holy nutso. Value city of a dog and sha sha shackles doubling season progenitus. Three kitchen finxes. Careful consideration. Relic of progenitus. And Tarashi's grasp. Okay. We are uh, arriving near the end of this box. I still have. I mean, I'm not expecting a Termogoyf, obviously, but it'd be nice to see that or a Dark Confidant, just because I don't have any of those. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Foil Sylvan Bounty. A rare. Sword of Fire and Ice. Woo wee! All three of our. I think that's our third mythic. Mirror Retriever, Thirst for Knowledge, and Mind Funeral. Boy. I mean, other than obviously like the, I mean, these are like definitely second tier, but really good mythics. I think we have what sort of fire nice. Vidalkin shackles. Do we only have two mythics? Oh no, we have progenitus too. Three pretty good mythics. That tells me that uh, odds are we will not get another mythic, which means odds are we will not see a Tarmogoyf or a Dark Confidant, unless I suppose it may be in foil, then that would be nice. Worm token, a foil Hanakami. A rare is a Verloth the Ancient. And our uncommons, Thundercloud Shaman, I love that art. Vivid Marsh and a Lightning Helix. Good packs. Good packs in this box, if I do say so myself. Hopefully we can finish really strong. I mean, uh, another doubling season wouldn't hurt. I could use one. A zombie token, a foil pithis, and a rare engineered explosives, another good rare card. All right, and our uncommons are Meadow Boon, Stir of the Pride, Incremental Growth. Down to the last three packies, what will we find? I know a lot of you like how, you know, would prefer I throw them against the wall first, but I just can't. Here's another rogue token for Mr. Rogue Deck Builder. We have a foil rift bolt, which looks beautiful. And our rare is a Glen Eldra Archmage. Glen Eldra, Glen Eldara Archmage. Third time's a charm. Our uncommon stir the pride, mind funeral, sudden shock. So we got kitchen, we got kitchen things, so plenty. We got three very good mythics. We got also some very good rares. Good box so far. I like how one of you guys in the last video added up all my rare values. That was really nice of you. <laughs> Spider token. We have a foil logic knot. And our rare is a cryptic command. All right. Choose two. Counter target spell or return target permanent to its owner's hand or tap all creatures your opponent controls. Yikes. Reach of branches, vivid creek, and a sand sower. That's pretty gnarly. Last pack, all aboard, who's going aboard? Wait, all ashore at Value Town, who's going ashore? Can we finish strong? Can we finish strong? Goblin token, foil, erratic mutation, rare. Squee, Goblin Nabob. Well, <laughs> we finished with a squee. Epocarasite Manamorphus, Manamorphus, Tide Hollow Sculler. All right. And now you guys said you wanted a recap at the end of all the sick pulls. Probably so you can just, you know, go ahead and skip ahead to them, which I don't blame you. But if you, uh, as I pile these up, if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button right after you've crushed that like button but note below the video. All right, notable foils. I really appreciate it. And as you guys can see, I listen to you. Um, notable foils are, let's see. Um, a, ki a foil kitchen finks, a foil lotus bloom. Those are probably our most notable. Oh, and a foil blink moth nexus. Those are no joke. Ah. 
And then in terms of rares, notable rares and mythics, obviously, Cryptic Command, that's no joke, um, Engineered Explosives, Progenitus, Vildok and Shackles, Sword of Fire and Ice, Doubling Season, uh, Blood Moon, Knight of the Reliquary, I think is good. Maybe it's not worth a ton. Figure that, um, here's another Lotus Bloom, Root Awakening, Gifts Ungiven, Arcbound. Very good rares. Very good overall box, I would say, if I do say so myself. Got some neat tokens. So, if you guys are new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe because I really, really appreciate it. Remember, I'll release box four at, what I say, 400 likes? We're getting there in like one day on the video, so... If you guys bust your ass, we could probably get the fourth box out on Sunday, the very same day I release this. But um, you guys are awesome. I love you all, and uh, you know, please take a moment to chat with me in the subscription or the commentary below, or chat directly with me live on my Twitch feed at twitchtv headquarters. Until next time, guys. We'll talk to you later. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists. Everything from MTG vlogs gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.